All right, so let's do some factor by grouping here. We've got uh, these four terms, which is uh, how we identify that this should be factor by grouping. And we're going to group together these terms here and these terms here. Now note this is not a multiplication problem that realistically there's still an addition sign between these. Uh, we didn't change the operation just by putting parentheses in there. Uh, but we're just grouping together the first two and the last two. And with the first two, we're going to pull out a greatest common factor. We're going to say, what's in common between 2xy and 10x? And so clearly there's a 2 in common between them. They also both have an x. When I factor that out, I'm left with a y. And from the second term, I'm left with a 5. Now, from the second term, I've got negative y and negative 5. And I want to look at those guys and say, what can I factor out of a negative y and a negative 5? Now, on first glance, I don't have anything in common, but we can always pull out a 1 or else pull out a negative 1. And it's our decision on which one to do, but basically what we want to have happen is we want to have the parentheses that's left over. We want those to be matching between the two things that we group together. So I'm going to factor a negative 1 out, and that would leave me positive y and positive 5. Now here's where things can get confusing. So I actually want to look at a completely separate problem that's a whole lot easier. I want to look at the problem 2x times a minus 1 times a. And I want to try to factor this. And that's much easier to factor. In that one, we can use the uh, GCF, the greatest common factor, to say, hey, they both have an a in them. The first term, I'd be left with a 2x. The second term, I'd be left with negative 1. That's easy. That's a piece of cake. But then I want you to realize that that's really all that's going on over here in our actual problem. Only instead of an a, I have a y plus 5. So I want you to notice that our entire first term there has a factor of 2x and y plus 5. Our entire second term there has a negative 1 and a y plus 5. Both terms have a y plus 5 in them. So we're going to bring that y plus 5 out in front, just like we brought the a out in front in the simple problem. Now once I've factored a y plus 5 out of this first term, what's left? Just the 2x. When I factor the y plus 5 out of the second term, what's left? Just the negative 1. And so that's how we factor by grouping. 